YouTube is good, hopefully. I don't know why we're so crooked tonight. Mm. Yeah. My head's barely in the camera, and I'm short. No, you are. You're thinking, <clears throat> you're seeing the top, right? Good and good. Trust me, I think that too, but if you look, look how much space you have above it. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, I missed a long, strangly gray hair in my beard when I trimmed everything up. <laughs> I saw that in the, uh, in the delay. All right, so. Hey, guys. Half takeout, half homemade, baby. Obviously, I'm in a great mood tonight because it's Friday and there's pizza and cookies and a whole bunch of other shit in my very near future. Hello, Abby. Hey, Abby. How you doing, girl? I did pull an old school move and put some cheddar cheese on my garlic knots. Me and Kaki used to do that all the time. All the time. And then we, we just stopped. We used to have like a protein ranch and some hot sauce. But I'm like, you know, it's, it's, it's not like I use a lot of cheese, right? So let's just whip out the cheese and put it on some garlic knots. And then... That's true. Kaggy's got a homemade meal. She'll tell you all about it. I she do. started it. She started it when I was at work today. Oh my gosh. I started cooking the soup at like, I don't know, like 2 o'clock today. Hey, Annie. So a lot of hours of effort went into this soup. This is a homemade... Um, chicken pot pie soup. I can't pick it Let up. It's it? a lot. I'll do it. Homemade chicken pot pie soup. Yeah, I love Dokken. I love that song. I love Dream Warriors um, more than... That's probably my favorite song. Uh, okay, that's Kaki's homemade chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie soup. And then I made some biscuits that I did not... It, this was Pillsbury. They kind of look, they kind of look like crap. I'm not gonna lie, they look like crap. But I hope they taste oh, they, good. They, they look homemade. They're hey, Cortland. <laughs> What's up, Captain Mayor? Jester. Hello, Cortland. How you doing, man? I had Chipotle Shirley. for dinner. I'm making mac and cheese tomorrow. Very nice, Abby. I'm making something special tomorrow too. I feel like, and I didn't tell you guys, or maybe I did tell you guys this last night. You knew I was in some sort of mood, and I didn't get into detail about what it is. And I don't think I want to go into detail just because I'm just going to come off as being like a, a prima donna, and I'd rather not do that. So, um, last night was like one of the... Maybe I've done it once or twice, but I did not post the second part of the video last night. Hello, Monica. Hey, and, Monica. Um, how you doing, girl? Because I was so disappointed of how it looked. It tasted good, but I was just like, this is not, <laughs> you know, this isn't, I, I just didn't want to do it. Uh, you just said you were in a funk. Yeah, I didn't go into detail. I was in a really bad funk yesterday. But um, it's funny what the weekend does to you. So I, I have to go, you know what it is? I have to, I, I need to think like crappy days, like when you have to go do something that you're not looking forward to doing. You gotta try to make something a part of that day that it's something to look forward to. And I've I've always known this, but it's like when you have a the kind of like the same kind of schedule, it's kinda of hard to do. <sighs> You're sleepy. No, I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Who are you talking to me? Yeah, you. Mm. <sighs> Pizza Friday. Hello Nancy. Oh, hello Nancy. How you doing, girl? So I think tomorrow, and I and I told Kaggy this like a couple hours ago, I'm like, I'm going to push myself tomorrow. She goes with what, you run? I said, yeah, the speed, uh, how hard I go. I'm back to wearing my running shoes, which it felt good. I just wish I would get that runner, that runner high immediately instead of having, instead of being, like having to wait the first mile or two Jamie your beard is nicely trimmed a little bit too trim Teresa I know <laughs> <laughs> I trim my beard too short because I cut my sister-in-law cut my hair and she didn't it wasn't her fault I said you know I said just get rid of the dead ends and I had a lot of dead ends yeah Jamie had a lot of dead ends and it's, it's to the point where and you guys might say oh it looks fine it looks cleaner I don't feel Jamie doesn't like it. I don't like it. Bottom line, Jamie doesn't like it. Extensions, extensions are in the future. 
What's up, Albert? What are you cooking tomorrow then? I'm not telling you. I went and got a, a pizza family place. Bought a small, it was $20. I thought it would be enough. <laughs> was it not enough? Was it for a personal it? pan pizza size? It was a <laughs> So it wasn't enough. Yeah, Albert, I have a couple of. Uh, <laughs> I've got a so couple. So it wasn't that good, I get it. I've got a couple of ideas. I'll throw out a couple of them, and you guys, uh, especially the ones that leave comments on tomorrow when this uploads, uh, you let me know. Maybe Ruben style something something. What do you think about that? Or pizza made out of something something. Or a crazy burger. Listen, I'm not even like thinking about tomorrow's meal. Yeah, I was so mad you could fold it in half and call it a slice. <laughs> oh, poor it, I'm sure. I'm sure. I would have been mad too. Albert, you know why I try to do that? Yeah, we're, we're live 365 days a year. You know why I, 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 unless it's a crazy idea and I'm excited for it, I'll give you guys a little hint on what dinner is going to be the next day. But um, I always try to keep it a secret because my mind changes so much and I could be craving something and are ready and willing to do it <laughs> and then that nine o'clock hour comes and it's time to start prepping shit and my mind changes so that's why I try to you know yeah Jimmy's mind constantly changes all the time wh with whatever the hell he's eating not even just food Goals, just everything. the way I produce my content, everything. what kind of content to do. I've painted myself in a pretty little picture, and I will explain this. And this can, this is part of my little mm -hmm. funk that I'm going in. When me and Kaki first started doing social media, it started off as a weight loss thing, right? And I always knew I was creative with my food choices and my food combinations. And I decided to express it and show the world right and then if it catches on it catches on but the goal is to lose weight and what happened was the weight came off and well thank you Kevin Mary and my food started Appreciate getting that. attention right and my food was macro friendly nine out of ten times it was somewhat macro friendly uh, and then it blew up all over TikTok, and then the food became number one because I was getting so much attention so now the whole, uh, everything is kind of backwards. And I have to find a happy medium where I'm happy, I'm hitting goals, and I'm creating fun, delicious foods. And it's all about discipline, really. I just gotta get my head right. What's up, Jolly G's? Super creative, bro, and you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me say, how often do you have cheat days where you don't count calories? This Halloween candy is messing me up. Well, oh, the Halloween candy was messing everybody up in this house. Emmy, I was bad all week. I've been horrible all week long. This Halloween been... candy in this house was messing everybody up but me because I was eating it. Yeah. I was the only person not eating the Halloween candy, but now I'm craving the Halloween candy and it's all gone. <laughs> it's all gone. That cheesecake was delicious. Oh my like god, last the cheesecake night. Was What's up, John? Night? So damn good. I'll tell you right now, this soup. Mm -hmm. I licked my thumb because I got it in the thing and it was good. The soup is so damn good. How many miles do you usually when when I'm when I'm on my uh when I'm <clears throat> Hello, on my, John. When I'm on like uh when I'm on my shit hey, Steve. it's five to seven miles. But that's me, disciplined, focused, ready to go. Don't care how I'm feeling, how I'm looking, what's going on. Whether I have time or not, I, I get the miles in. That part of me has not been present in a while. I need to get that need back. That's like the number one goal. That's why tomorrow, I don't care how cookie drunk I am. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, something is happening tomorrow where it, it's going to spark that old flame in me. You folded it backwards? I do that sometimes. How my mouth? How you doing, girl? I miss the old me, guys. I love the new me, too, but 
I love the new me with um, how I've become more creative, but I miss the old, like, you know, focused me. The court said, whoa, Jamie. What's that I about? just noticed the beard is looking light and very right. <laughs> very Cortland, nice, my friend. Cortland, don't feel right, man. <laughs> I don't feel right. I, I wasn't playing around when I said the extensions thing. I like Jamie's beard. Yeah. I like it. I like it a little bit more rugged. A little bit more rugged, rugged. Give me a focus, bro. Give yourself a break. I appreciate that. And tacos. <laughs> yeah, and tacos. Happy Friday. Yeah. Favorite dish of all time? What kind of soup are you eating? So I made homemade chicken pot pie soup. Albert, I've made a couple of good ones. Hot dogs and Ritz crackers. This is freaking delicious. Come to Mike, I try it. Mm -hmm. I put, the first time I danced around with uh, cheese Ritz crackers sauteed, and I put them on hot dogs, a hot sauce and something. That always comes to mind first. But I made a double-sided pizza, which was very good. Let me see. Um, maybe like eight months ago when I started working You didn't with, even get like stuff on there. I'm gonna get, I'm in mince of salt. Is there a potato in here? There is potatoes in there. Mm, it's good. You're still thinking, <laughs> I'm still thinking of my sandwich from the other day with the bread that I really didn't want that I gave to Jamie. The, the ham sandwich that I oh, gave yeah, you the other day. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah, I thought yours was better. I really didn't want that ham sandwich. Love your content, brother. Keep up the good work. Shouts out from Marine Corps Base, Quantum, Virginia. Thank you, Montana. Oh, speaking of shout outs, shout out to Dirt oh. Dave, brother. I saw Thank your you, comment. Montana. I was driving when, I, when it popped up. Thank you very much, Montana. I appreciate that. Dirt Dave in the house. What was that about? Dirt Dave. I believe it's Dirt Dave. Um, I didn't do the greatest job of getting back to Liz and uh, a couple of you guys on YouTube today. And Dirt Dave, because I was I was busy, busy as anything yesterday. I did get back to Jimmy Jam this morning because he texted me. He's like, what are you ignoring me? Or he said, no, ignoring my text. And, went, Shh. and I said, I had such a bad day yesterday. And then... Uh, he sent me a picture of Stephanie McMahon in a bikini. He goes, here, just to cheer you up. I know somebody just said, hold on. Yeah. What's up, Frank? Happy birthday to the U.S. Marine Corps. 248 years old today. That's awesome. I have two of my uncles who are Marines. Two of them were Marines. And they both fought in the, um, the Gulf War. So... I think. Thank you very much for that. Hey, Allison. 84 birth, <clears throat> 84th birthday is Monday. Wow. You doing anything special? Your job? mother's 84th birthday. I'd love to see you eat a giant Philly cheesesteak live. I have a cheesesteak. Uh, it's not going to be on bread, but I have a cheesesteak recipe. Slash. I just did cheesesteak stuffed peppers the other day. I still have two in the refrigerator that I think I'm going to repurpose. Don't know how I'm going to do that yet. You love cheesesteak so much. Me too, girl. Me too, Emmy. Love cheesesteak. This, this, uh, I picked up part of the ingredients. I have to get more shaved steak. But it's gonna be good. You should definitely make a cheesesteak. I wanna make a cheesesteak like I've never made a cheesesteak before. And I've made cheesesteak quite a few times. We've made many cheesesteaks on here. Many, many cheesesteaks. I just, you know what, before I really dial in and in what I have to do, I wanna go balls to the walls. So if you guys are used to hearing me talk about what I want to do and what I'm going to do, and you're noticing that oh, your Jamie's diet is 
kind of on the cuckoo side as of late. It's like a lot of junk food, a lot of, you know, you're not wrong, it, it's, it is. But I wanna go balls to the walls before I really dial in. And the, and the dialing in, not only am I gonna do it, but I wanna make, more, I wanna make content out of it. I didn't make the pizza, that was a takeout. <clears throat> yeah, this is, uh, what's up, Jimmy? This is my favorite pizza. I had my second favorite pizza on Wednesday. Um, and I haven't had it in a long time. One pizza sliced down. Pama Lombardi's? No. Oh, you know what I could, I didn't tell you. You don't even, you have no clue what I'm about to say. I, you guys are always saying, oh, where do you come up with your recipes? I came up with the sauce today. I don't know if it's gonna be good. I'm gonna put these ingredients together and I'm gonna call it zebra sauce. Intrigued? Zebra sauce. I'm sure my face will look special alone. It's just like, what the hell? <laughs> Did he just did the did the man with the double cup just say zebra sauce? Yes, I did. I don't have a idea what I'm doing with the with the with the sauce yet, but I'm pretty confident it's going to be good. Different, definitely. Taste buds, you know, never tasted what I'm about to make, but and I don't know if I do it tomorrow. Probably not tomorrow. Probably Sunday. Don't listen, Crazy. You missed tacos last. You missed tacos the other night. Crazy. You missed a taco train. You only pop in when I don't have tacos. I find that ironic. Just saying. Crazy. I have pizza, though. You pop in when I don't have tacos. I had tacos. You weren't here. You're lost. Please don't do the one. <laughs> You know what that's from, right? No. A comedian. Guy who walks around with a mullet. Uh, like a wig. No. Chuck something. Taco Tuesday. I want a big bowl of salad and knots. I'm hungry. Emmy, you want to see a close-up of these knots? <laughs> oh, don't make her even more hungrier. That's not fair. I'm not trying to make you hungry. That's not what I'm trying to do at all. Garlic knots and salad are, is like, I could eat just that for dinner. I definitely got the vinaigrette, Nora, and queso. Oh, man, it's Munchkin. How are you doing tonight? How's Ramon? That's beautiful. <laughs> that came from Emmy. That's beautiful. I knew somebody was going to say that, Jimmy. I said close up on my knots, not nuts. I would get in trouble if I showed you guys Show that. close up of the nuts. Yeah, no. That <clears throat> wouldn't be appropriate here. It, it wouldn't be the first time either. I've done it a couple times on accident. Not on purpose. Never on purpose. Never. I got 722 calories left for today. Something going down tonight. <laughs> I'm happy you're still counting your calories, I mean. Yeah, that's good, girl. That's awesome. You probably, actually, I, depending on how um, consistent you are with it, you're probably doing better than me with that. Jamie, Probably. he heard you. He said, I won't let him on stream anymore. Jamie, he said, he, he said, he won't let who? What, you won't let him on stream anymore? Oh, I like Mr. Munchkin popping in. Come on, and he was Hulk Hogan for Halloween. <laughs> Don't get much better than that. He won me over with that. Yeah, Jamie, show me the picture, Munchkin. I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. That's completely awesome. That's normal, Emmy. I would give you advice to say, 
and this goes for anybody, but I'm not going to do this advice because it could backfire on you. When you when you first start losing weight, right, and you feel comfortable with how you look, and you kind of start to know where you could mess up and and you know uh, straighten up ahead. You can get so comfortable after messing up 15, 20, 30, 40, 50 times and you're not seeing a change in your body. And then before you know it, you get a little bit too cocky <coughs> and that shit will sneak up back on you. <coughs> I wish I'd never given myself so much of a long leash to run. <coughs> you all right there? Yeah, I choked on my soup a little bit. Never boring. That's a skill in itself. The ability to talk. Thank you, Albert. <clears throat> I'm happy that some of you guys enjoy us. And I'm happy that you guys don't think we're boring. Me and Kagi think we're boring. But we, what? we think we're boring. When, yeah, like there's no kinda, convict. When yeah. There's no like talking in here. We are kind of boring. My mouth, you see my daughter, Farah. Jamie said she's my She is your mini you. I've seen a picture of her. Oh my God, she is your mini you, one hundred percent. Which is leads me to our daughter. She looks just like me as well. We she's she's my little mini me. We do not do this for a living. We don't get paid for this. She's my little mini me. We we just have been very consistent with this for the last six years, over six years. Except she has Jamie's little who temper who. Our daughter. She looks just like me, but she yep. has your temper. <laughs> she has your temper, 100%. I try to think, and I've been like, I've said this, be I've said this on here before, we're going through like some behavior issues with her, and I know she's got my temper, and I, she's got your temper. I never get a chance because when, when when something happens, I always think, especially now, I, I try to think of, you know, put myself back in that position when I was that age. And like, what would make me calm down and not do what I'm about to do? She always like steps it up and nods before I can, I, can, I can stay in that place. Yeah, so and, she's And then me, the dad voice comes out. She's me and then she's Jamie as well. <laughs> Because I was the tester. I was like, oh, I'm going to test you. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're not going to tell me what I'm going to do. <laughs> so she's you me ready? and Jamie combined. So it's just. <sighs> yeah, best of, best of both worlds. Best, best of both worlds. <laughs> you know what? I do not fear for her entering middle school only because <laughs> nobody's going to mess with her. If they do, they're going to find out. <laughs> it's going to be a mess around and find out type of situation. <laughs> uh, we're not going to discuss the yeah, we, age of our, our children, but yeah. we're just going to sit here and say we, I'm comfortable with her. <laughs> I know nobody's going to pick on her. Top three favorite movies of all time. Titanic's got to be in there. Let's go like this because every time we're asked this question, we always Titanic's forget movies. One. We always forget movies. Oh, we should have said this. So, considering I'm always feeling nostalgic, uh, Titanic is definitely number one, but I like. Titanic for me is number one. Nope. Number one, hands down. <laughs> you let her in the cookie corner this <laughs> I can't remember. I hope you let her in the cookie quarter this week. I hope she doesn't. <laughs> she broke my damn mirror. Oh, Sammy, thank you. Sammy Ray, thank you so much. My hair is so shiny and flawless. Honestly, I don't have What's any. Up, Will? I have zero secrets to my hair. Zero secrets. Cheap shampoo, cheap conditioner. I use Garnier shampoo conditioner. And I use the Garnier leave-in conditioner. That's it. No secrets. Corlin, that was another good one. Did you ever see <clears throat> Romy and Michelle's high school reunion? Yes, I have. Of course I have. I think of like my childhood. Killer Clowns. Howard the Duck. Um, little Monsters. Little Monsters, which Goonies, we just... 100% is one of my, my favorite childhood movies. 
I know you've never seen it. I want you to watch it, though. I'm not watching the Goonies. I think I'm forcing you to watch it. Okie dokie. I'm forcing you to watch Goonies. You have to watch Goonies. Nope. How are you a child of the 80s that never watched <clears throat> Goonies? I'll bump it to the soundtrack, but I ain't watch the it. The Breakfast Club is another good one. Yeah. Eat shit. <laughs> you go all out in the kitchen? Why go for simple cheese pizza today? You answered that question yourself, Tony. Doesn't this make sense? All the crazy That's Jamie's like favorite go to meal is straight up cheese pizza. All the crazy combinations I do on the weekends I like to just eat plain Jane normal cheese pizza. It's almost like I'm wheeling myself back in. Fueling up, gearing up, getting ready for the next crazy week ahead of me. This is like the only thing I'm pl I'm I like regular. My cookies, I like it with ice cream and milk. And then my pizza, I like it with salad and garlic knots. Never seen Legends of the Full. No, me neither. What kind of soup did I make? So I made um, chicken pot pie soup. And let me tell you, this came out freaking delicious. Mm -hmm. This was not my recipe. I found a recipe on the internet and just went with it. And it's delicious. I can't see myself, like I'm sure I'll do a soup recipe one day. But I, 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 I can't see myself like dining on just soup. I'd have to have like oh, a lot of This is so bread. good though. This is so good. That's why I got biscuits. I have biscuits. Hey Vanessa. <gasps> What's Spanish pizza? I like me with chocolate brownie halo top. Ice cream. Almost every freaking <laughs> they, they make brownie halo top. Never saw that before in my entire life. Court. Hey, Lori. They, make, they make brownie halo top. Court, seriously. Brownie halo top. Never seen it. I need a blueberry. Because I have a blueberry. I've had many flavors of halo top, but I've never seen a brownie one. You don't get full enough on soup. That's why you have to have the biscuits. Whole pint is 280 calories. Um, oh, I called you Vanessa. I'm sorry. Vanilla Gorilla. My bad. Um, you said you need brownie. Enlightened makes cookie doughs and brownie. That's the best no, one. No, no. Court said that Halo Top makes a brownie one, which I've never seen before. I know. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying Enlightened has Oh, no. I know Enlightened has that, but... I've never seen the Halo Top one. You love biscuits? Me too, girl. Me too. Hey, Lisa Marie. That's why I'm putting them in my soup, Emmy. I bet garlic knots would be better with that. You want to try a garlic knot with it? Instead of, um... No. Kaki, I have to send you my twirly soup. Mmm. Oh, Will sent me the recipe. I know, you said that. But yet you have yet to show me. Jamie, you're just missing your blue cheese dip and peppers with your frog nuts. In my mouth, it wasn't blue cheese dip, it was ranch. <laughs> it was homemade protein ranch. It was ranch. homemade protein ranch. Which, next time I go and make a homemade protein ranch, I'm going to add more shit into it. Try to make it even tastier. Oh, hello, Mama Pert. What's up, Mama Pert? Oh yeah, you can make your own ranch, very easy. Mm -hmm. Super easy. Super easy, I mean. It only gets complicated when you start adding other things to make the taste better. Sometimes you could add too much things and it takes the ranch taste out of it and you like, what, what, are, you, what are you eating? Most people just add ranch seasoning and yogurt. Usually, yeah. I have heard some protein This one time in college, uh -oh. I was offered some homemade protein ranch. Let's just say I tried it. Oh God! <laughs> Do you know what they used in it? <laughs> I don't think it was. Actually, I don't think it was actually. 
<laughs> Not everything is sex related, Peggy. Just saying. With Cortland. Yeah, well, that's why Emmy was just like, Cortland, oh my God. <laughs> Cortland's talking about ranch dressing, not hooking up. Are you sure? I'm going to. You know, because I think I know Court pretty well. And I think I know where Court was going with that. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure everybody else knows where Court was going with that, too. Right. Right. Yeah, Jamie. Yeah, See? Told you. <laughs> Jamie, how much for the drink recipe? Well, I'm tempted. I'm tempted. We, uh... <laughs> I'm tempted to sell the recipe. I don't know how I'd do it without people just sharing it and then like troll in the comment section saying what it is. I'm tempted though. Yeah, I'm not a fan of cottage cheese. I'm not a cottage cheese person. Just sell me a cup. Uh <laughs> Show you the cup. My mug. Emmy, you should. You could probably find one. You at could Kohl's. definitely find one at. First of all, it's about to be Christmas season. You could definitely find it at Kohl's. Go to Kohl's and look at the, like their their gag gifts. That's where the. No, you got Kohl's, a Kohl's near you. That's where my mom originally got it from for me. Um. Thank you, Jacob. Will? Can't do that, pal. I cannot do that. She said, no, I made a cup of juice. <laughs> oh, I Not the cup, just the juice. You want me to bring you some when we eventually meet? I'll bring it in my, uh, my little flask. You still have a flask in there. I have one in there. You do have one there. I just yeah. found it today. So I was putting it on our, our pantry. It's funny. I look forward to pizza and I eat more. And the garlic knots are on point. When's Lucky making his appearance? Not tonight. He's not down here. Thank God. Because sometimes he's a pain in the ass. He's been a butthead to me. The last two days. Mm -hmm. No, Lucky just in general has just been completely like you don't care off the wall. Like I don't give a shit. I'm taking what I want. Don't care if it's edible or not. I'm just gonna take it and eat it. Meanwhile, Mom. he was throwing up yesterday. Mm -hmm. He yapped all over the damn house. Molly's sleeping on the couch. She's like ten feet oh, away. Molly's out. Molly's out of the light. Usually when Le Lucky's not down here for the beginning of dinner, he strolls down at the very end. Mm -hmm. And lately, as of late, Abby has been doing the same thing. Yeah. She's been, like, making her way down, too. Which Abby never comes down here. And if you want to see what Abby looks like, you can't pick her up to show you. Yeah, she's got bad, um, bad joints. Bad back legs. And she's a pup. She's like three years old, so. Yeah, she just has like really bad like joints and stuff, unfortunately. Will, where are you at? <clears throat> I'm sure I've asked you and you've told me before, but I don't have the best memory. Did you ever get your pizza tattoo? Nope. Nope. I've been asking my brother um, for the last three months. And my, you my ask him at like really bad times. Asked him a couple of times where he wasn't tattooing. Thing is that my brother is they're younger than me, right? They're adults. They're all older, but they're younger than me. Yet they treat me like the little brother that can't make his own decisions. Because you made because you had a doubt about your tattoo. Mm -hmm. That's why they did that's why he didn't do it. You doubted it. I'm like, um, I'm not going to do that to him. I doubted the size, that's all. What's up, Marks? Oklahoma, I knew that. Boomer sooner, baby. 
This is wait and see. Court, you will never get banned. Not on my watch. Not from us. No hmm. way. TikTok might do it, but not us. A crab boil life. Jamie doesn't really like crab. Eh. Jamie had crab when we went to Florida. We went to this place called Crab Stop. And Jamie had like a whole little like bowl of crab. And then he realized he had to like get in there and like break the crab and get his hands dirty. <laughs> Jamie wasn't happy. Mm -mm. That was not a happy Jamie. He was not happy with that. So. Hey, Kimmy. He literally gave his bowl of crab to like one of my sisters. And they devoured it, of course. Because Hear me out. They. Listen, I, I don't like crab. I don't like crab. So I totally understand. But mm. Jimmy wanted to try crab. <laughs> well, I it, put, put, listen, put your, put your feet in my shoes. I don't know what day this was on in uh, meeting Kaki's family. I don't know what day Sisters, was let's day. say it was day three. I'm day three new to these beautiful women. And I'm about to make them. I've never eaten this kind of stuff before. As and my sisters are like elbow deep. They're cracking shit. Crab. Yeah, it's all coming crack out. I'm like, shit. Uh, it. like, I'm just like, Ugh. I uh, eat my shrimp and my french fries, and I'm like, I don't need crab. I don't like crab. Mm. I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan of any of that. But What's up, all, Pete? They're all seafood. They love, they love crabs and all that stuff. And like, I don't like any of that. Yeah. Like, I had my shrimp. I had my french fries. I had my harsh puppies. I'm just waiting patiently for all of them to finish eating their crab. But Jamie always wanted to try crab. And then once he realized he had to get his hands dirty, he was done. It's more than just getting my hands dirty. And <laughs> most of it was getting your hands. You don't like having crab on your hands. No. Not like butter where it just goes Yeah, everywhere. no. It's literally buttery, disgusting, like crack it open, sucking it out the shell. That's that's what my sisters were doing. <laughs> but I don't I don't like crab, but I'll sit there with them and whatever. I don't really don't care. Like they can sit there and do it, it doesn't bother me, but like I know damn well Jamie was starving. <laughs> and he just wanted to eat something other than Other crab. than the kids and like all like the the the, the kids are eating like Chicken fingers and Chicken burgers. Chicken fingers and burgers. <laughs> Getting boring to me. How do you... Wait, what? Jamie, I'm on two miles now. It's getting boring to me. How do you keep going? You have to have something in your ears. Number one. Number two, you have to want to do it. That, that's how I keep on going. You can only work out for the wrong reasons for so long. Right? Before you get bored... Or before you get tired of doing it but if you want to do it you'll never want to quit and it always helps to have something good in your ears a good podcast some good music you gotta to get listen your, to something to, you know sometimes i don't listen to anything i just listen to my ball drop listen to my ball drop listen to my feet hitting the ground uh and that's it but you have to want to do it there's no there's no secret to, to you know getting someone to stay consistent with not just running but going to the gym if it's not in your heart it ain't you're not gonna last does that make sense yeah it makes sense i'm not running as much as i once did but at the same time i'm not throwing the towel in because i've been running every day for over two years and that's one hell of a streak that if i do quit i'll never get that streak back The purple what? lights? What's your, what's your wife's TikTok? I always love to check what you're having for dinner. Okay, so Tara, or Tyra, sorry, Tyra. I'm going to say hey in the chat. My name is Kathy underscore 29. That's my TikTok. I got three different, four different, five different purple lights. A lot of the lights you're seeing are different lights put together and made into something that I created. You know, and then like the main fixtures, like that light right there is from Best Buy. Oh, those drop biscuits, Kaki. Yeah, I guess you would call them drop biscuits. Only because they were Pillsbury. 
So it said that you can get like 12 to 14 biscuits. Yeah, I got five biscuits out of the whole mix mixture. I literally just took the spoon and dropped them onto the silicone pan and then So they're cold drop biscuits? These, I guess, yeah, I literally dropped the mix onto the pan. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I didn't mold it in any way. Literally just plop onto the pan. My favorite jabroni. What do you have in Thank khaki? You, well, I had some, I made some um, chicken pot pie soup, and then I had some biscuits. Oh, I'm so happy to see pizza and salad. They look fantastic. Well, thank you. I thought they looked like crap. So thank you. Thank you for telling me they look fantastic. That's why I'm surprised they're from a box. Yeah, I think they look like crap. <laughs> I was expecting them to look like more like biscuits, like you would get from like, you know, they kind of somewhere look like, fancy. They kind of look like frumpy sugar cookies. Yeah, they, they don't look, I don't think they look very good. I was like, wow, they look like crap, but whatever. They taste good. That's all that matters. That's what I do, I, uh, Tyra. What's your favorite They look candy? like a savory scone. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. <laughs> a savory scone. That's what I was going for. <laughs> you know what's funny, Emmy? I comes... like the Red Lobster biscuits myself. I do. Those are the best. Those are the best biscuits. When it comes to Halloween candy, everybody's got that favorite candy bar or favorite piece of candy that they like. Right, that they always pick up mm -hmm. at the store when they are craving candy. Then when you go trick or treating, or your kids go trick or treating, you see so much shit that you forgot about. And like, oh my god, I love those, or I haven't seen these in a long time. When it comes to like the Halloween you're fun late tonight, size huh? stuff, yeah, you're late, Marks. I'm sorry, girl. You're no. late. <laughs> oh, no we were also no. You actually weren't late. We're actually early. You were early. Not by not by long though. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a Reese's. I told my sister it's better to be late than pregnant. True. That's not you're not wrong in that. Hello, Jane Doe. <laughs> I'd rather be late than pregnant. <laughs> Tell you, what is your favorite Halloween candy? Um The Reese's take five is not my favorite. Yeah. And you didn't even know they existed. Nope, never had one until recently. Never had one until I begged both of our children, please give me those. Those are my favorite. And then I had two sitting in front of me and Jim was like, what's this? And grabs. I was like, don't you eat that on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was just like, all right. And then I let him try it. He was like, oh, wow, that's really good. It was good, yeah. It's one of my favorite candies. Yeah. I bought a king size the other day from 7-Eleven, and I was thinking there was four in the package, but they jip you. They only give you three. Bastards. They only give you three. I so mean, I ate two, and I was thinking there was two more. There was only one more. Everything in this world is going I was going devastated. Up. I was like, I thought there was two more. There's only one. <laughs> and we're staying the same. Mm -hmm. You miss Bucky's gigantic noggin? Yeah, he's not down here tonight. That's the mom tax for Halloween. Exactly, the mom tax. I, I think I, I swear, I really thought I coined the, the term the mom tax. I always said mommy tax. I never tax. heard it until you started saying it. Exactly, mommy tax. I always call it mommy tax. Why, is it apparently a thing? I don't know if it's a thing. Oh. But Will just said that's the mom tax for Halloween. What? I know, I mean, I, I won't do Which that. Which I'm just like, oh. I swear to God, I coined the term for mom tax, mommy tax. Like, I rented a part of my body out to my children. So now they owe me portions of the Halloween candy. Not just Halloween candy, also french fries when they get, you know, fast food. I just want like one or two french fries. Mommy tax. Did you put honey in the biscuits? No. This was literally Pillsbury biscuit dough that you just had to add milk to. That's all it was. I was thinking about asking my mom, Kagi, about making the stuffing this year. Putting Who? A little, me. 
You gonna make the stuffing? I was gonna ask her about mm -hmm. it. I don't know. Your mom's big on her stuffing. Your mom prides herself on the stuffing. I think she will love me. Throw some jelly on that biscuit. On the, yeah, I'm sure it'll be really good. She's got soup and biscuits, homemade chicken pot pie soup. Yeah. She always makes enough and like different ones of certain dishes anyway because my brother is a very finicky eater. And there are certain ingredients he won't eat. So my mom like takes out the shit that he don't like and makes him a separate dish. Here comes, uh, here he comes. Oh, Will. here comes Lucky Do. There you go, Will. <laughs> Here's Lucky Do with his big ass noggin. <laughs> Here's Tail. Oh my God, if you were my son, I'd ask you to make the whole meal. Imagine a Jamie-inspired Thanksgiving. So, on a paper, Jamie -inspired, yes. Jamie-inspired inspired Thanksgiving. At the same time, I could see my mom worrying. <coughs> I don't if think there would be turkey on the table, to be if honest. He, if he screws something up, like, then what? You know? I don't... Well, if you were to make Thanksgiving, I don't think there would be an actual turkey. No. No. Definitely wouldn't be a turkey. Me and turkeys don't have the best relationship. <laughs> and it all started at the young age <laughs> when I first saw a turkey go flying out the window. <laughs> You're going to say that. Stuff the turkey with Ritz and pizza or something. <laughs> oh, I could come up with something good. Hmm? I could totally see you stuffing the pizza with stuffing the turkey with like retro pizza. Anybody who thinks I'm playing around either. When you're a young child and you see your Thanksgiving turkey go flying out a window, it kind of scars you. Kind of scars you. I just don't remember what we wound up eating that night. That's what I don't remember. Yeah, my mind. You were so smart about that shit going flying out the window. Uh huh. Well, it wasn't really. A, I don't know if the window was a front door, but I remember it going flying. Here we go: cream cheese, pepperoni, jelly up. bacon, macaroni, tomato stuffing with English muffins. <laughs> Can you imagine, Court? There'd probably be something along those lines, though. You're probably not wrong. Well, <laughs> I think if I were to not only make the stuffing, but make a video out of it, um, I think a lot of the ingredients I would use, like, holy shit, I never thought about that. But well, that's probably good. <laughs> not, you know, comments like, Jamie, don't break the pasta. <laughs> They'll be like, I, why did I never think about that? <laughs> This one time in college, I took something I shouldn't have, and I flew out of the window. Never again. <laughs> oh, court. I never did anything crazy. I've like done that it before. <laughs> Actually, Albert, I think I did a. I don't know if I did a, a leftover Thanksgiving burrito last year or the year before that, but I I did do it. Mm -hmm. I always do something. Somewhat special. We both have done on, something yeah. like with a Thanksgiving dinner. Like a leftover Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. Hello, Jen. Oh, hello, Jen. You made it tonight, girl. All right, Molly. If you're a good girl, give me a piece of biscuit. How are you doing tonight? Make bomb banana blueberry pies? Family recipe, recipe so, so delicious. delicious. Banana blueberry pie. That sounds really good. Mine is the banana. That intrigues me, the banana and the blueberry pie. That intrigues me. Like, I think it's going to be really good, but I, I don't know how you don't, like, how does the banana not turn brown? No, oh, well, it's your family's recipe, so I don't. I don't expect you to give it to me. 
I've never ever wrestled CPA. What is it? What does it stand for? You've been missing us. You can't find. Well, we've been here. Jen, we're live every night. Mm -hmm. You've made Thanksgiving tacos, which I've made myself. Yeah, I know damn well I made Thanksgiving tacos. I've done the thanks. I know I've done Thanksgiving things on here. The Thanksgiving tacos, those were so damn good. Those were like so good. Oh, come on, Emmy. Did you hear what I said? Oh, look at that. Crust crunchy. We'll come down and make you some. Make you one? You're going to make me one? Hell yes. Come here and make me one. You can come right into this kitchen, my will. milf. No. Oh, well. My milf, you can come here and just make me one right in this kitchen. Right back here. Right back here, girl. Come on over. <laughs> come on over. The CPA is his gimmick. He's a CPA. He tagged with Kip. I probably, I know who, I probably, if it's the guy that, I only know one person that Kip tagged with. And I don't know him personally. I've seen like videos or whatever. Um, and if it's the guy that was dressed up like a nerd with him, like a bigger guy, <clears throat> then I know who he is. Never, never met him before though, or wrestled him. Mm -hmm. You can't wait for all the holiday leftovers. Your favorite. I love holiday leftovers. Mm. <clears throat> My milk, of course. I would step in your kitchen and make pies. You'll love it. Come on over, girl. I got a big-ass kitchen back here. Let's go. Hello, my friend. It's shop, been shop. a long Let's time. Let's get here. <laughs> Hope you are all doing well. Oh, hello, Paisley. How do you do, you, Paisley? How long are you? Long time no talk, girl. Been a little bit. Been a little bit. How you doing? How are you? <sighs> Who wins? Homelander versus Spider-Man versus who wins? Let's guess. I don't. I know Spider-Man. Listen, I don't know either. I know Spider-Man. That's about it. I don't know who the hell Homelander is. No comment. No comment. I think daughter and granddaughter are coming for Thanksgiving. Oh, that's nice. Did my mom say the plans that we are doing yet? Mm -mm. Are we going to? Uh... We're not going anywhere. That's what I like to hear. I don't think we're going anywhere. I think we're just staying here. If that's the plan, we'll stay here and have our own little Thanksgiving. Capiche? We make our own things here. Capiche? 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 <laughs> well, <laughs> that's my sign. <laughs> Once it starts getting a little bit too hot down under and my belly starts to rumble, that's the cue, Jamie. Wrap it up. You got to use the restroom. And the way my body has been. Hacky's got work early in the morning. <laughs> well, Hacky's got work early in the morning, but I just got the heat signal that Jamie, you need to wrap shit up. So, with that, thank you guys for hanging out with us. We will. Please send me pictures, my milk. Please. Mwah. Please send me pictures. I love seeing pictures of pies. We will see you guys tomorrow night. I'm, I'm making something. I'm making something. If you uh, want to drop a, a little. Uh, suggestion leave it in the comments i will read it tomorrow uh, good yeah. health is coming around by the grace of god excuse me i have watched you guys on reruns oh paisley well, i'm, happy I'm glad that, uh, about that girl. Yeah, and too. i'm glad you're on the mend glad mm -hmm. you're on the mend girl mm -hmm. i i do remember a little bit what you spoke about the last time you came in here yeah i remember too and i'm glad you're on the mend Makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys. Good night, guys. Mwah. Good night, guys. <laughs> Heat signal keeps on getting hotter, baby.